I'm not just a drag queen. I'm a transgendered woman. Ever need to be one or another. Nobody has to put anybody in any kind of a box. I definitely didn't think being a drag queen and a trans woman would ever mix. And now, after this experience, I know that those two things can coexist if that's who you are. And that's who I am. Thank you so much, Peppermint, for being so honest. You is a marvel. <laughs>
Revolutions provoke change within society and Stonewall is one of the greatest examples. Tired of being victimised and constantly harassed and targeted, Marsha P. Johnson and her community had had enough. Even though the movie didn't portray what really happened at Stonewall, it forced some people still living from the event to tell us their stories, freeing themselves for in some cases a lifetime of silence. This resistance allowed for many others to live their lives freely without fear of being oppressed. This resistance gave a voice to the transgender and gay community. This resistance made the world realise that they are not playing with a little queer boy in girls clothing. They are messing with a fully grown woman and she along with her friends are not going to take this lying down. This resistance brought change. Now, this change didn't happen almost immediately. As you can see from my poem, some people had died along the way for a fight for peace. But these were the only examples that were publicised because it was the first of their kind that we knew of. Finally, Rose and Gren in 1981 offered a simple typology which cross-tabulates two opposed positions. Social structure influences culture and its reverse. Culture influences social structure. This means that when something big happens, perhaps let's say a revolution, it can cause effect deep within our social norms. A culture which was once deemed as deviant is now making its way into mainstream culture and it's most likely here to stay. So thank you Marsha P. Johnson and the people of Stonewall, you are truly pioneers.